Lady Gaga's last tour, The Monster Ball, is touted as one of the most successful promotional tours the world has ever seen. The singer said she put so much into the tour that she never realized she was losing money, despite scoring numerous number one hits on the charts. So, in this video, we're going to tell you about Inside Lady Gaga's $3 million bankruptcy scandal. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick till the end. Lady Gaga is a singer, songwriter, and actress, and the woman is clearly multi-talented. Although there's a lot that's unknown about Lady Gaga's finances, her net worth is estimated at $320 million. With that kind of money, you already know the artist is definitely living in her dream home or house. Lady Gaga has more than one property under her belt. One interesting purchase she made was the former home of late musician Frank Zappa. The identity of the buyer was private, but rumor is that it was Gaga who bought the place, and sources on the web confirm it. Lady Gaga bought this place in 2018 for $5.25 million, which is a huge difference from the price Mr. Zappa paid back in the 70s. He paid around 75 k This home isn't just over half an acre of land, and a house is over 6,700 square feet with six beds and seven baths. There is also an attached staff apartment and two detached guest houses. Frank was certainly a one-of-a-kind artist, and his house reflected that. We know Lady Gaga seems to love things that are unique and different, so maybe that's one reason she wanted this house. There was also a double-height art gallery and a recording studio. Outside the home, you'll find multiple patios index, a swimming pool, a rooftop tennis court, and a rooftop garden. Lady Gaga may have bought this place, but as far as we know, she isn't living there. It could have just been a super cool investment property, and maybe she has some plans for it in the future. Let's move on to Gaga's real estate in the Big Apple. She's a New York native and has called NYC home for a really long time. She revealed in an interview with Vogue that she got rid of her previous house there, stating it was too hectic every day outside on the streets. Anyway, it seemed Lady Gaga couldn't stay away from the city for long, considering last year she bought a new home there. Lady Gaga's new NYC mansion is located in the trendy area of West Chelsea, and it's split over five floors, including a cellar and a rooftop terrace. The home is 11,000 square feet, with an additional 2,000 square feet of outdoor space. There are five bedrooms and 12 baths, some of which are powder rooms. All of the bedrooms in this NYC mansion have N-suite bathrooms, but the master bedroom is something even more impressive. The living room is massive, sitting at 26 by 23 feet, and has a modern-looking glass fireplace as well. The previous owner was a designer himself, so of course, the decoration of the place is something special. There are beautiful chandeliers, plenty of double-height glass windows, walls of mirrors, and more. Other features of Lady Gaga's NYC mansion include a garage, a personal gym, a wine cellar, a home movie theater, and a pool with an attached steam room and sauna. There's also a hot tub on the rooftop terrace, and you already know you're getting perfect views of the NYC skyline from there. Although NYC might be a little too hectic for the mega-famous star now, Lady Gaga probably always feels drawn to the city because it was her home and where she grew up. Now she has a huge mansion to enjoy when she's there, a big difference from the apartment she lived in as a kid. Finally, on to the main attraction, Lady Gaga's Malibu home. She purchased the place back in 2014, and it's located in Malibu, overlooking Zuma Beach, offering some of the best ocean views. It's a one-of-a-kind property covering six acres, and the house is over 10,000 square feet. This is my sanctuary, my oasis of peace. I call it my gypsy palace. The home is listed at almost 25 million, but apparently Gaga bought it for 23 million. Either way, the price tag seems about right for the size of this estate. For a house this big, you'd be surprised to know there are only three bedrooms. Her dressing room even has a fridge inside. Gaga's master suite has a full gym, two fireplaces, and a private outdoor terrace with views of the ocean. Not to mention there are his and hers bathrooms with heated stone flooring and his and hers walk-in closet. I guess that's just even more closet space for Gaga. Lady Gaga also said how much she loves pink and how it's a relaxing color to her. Her home is, of course, full of it, including a pink sofa and a giant pink rug to name a few things. The previous owner of this mansion was Dan Romanelli, who was part of the Warner Brothers team and worked on all of the Batman merchandise. So when he built the home in 2005, he added a Batcave layer. This special layer is accessed through a secret door and passageway from the living room and includes an 800-bottle wine cellar, home movie theater and bar, and even a two-lane bowling alley. Lady Gaga's mansion has plenty of other amazing features, a lot of which are outside. Of course, there's a large salt water pool and a hot tub, and there are beautiful rose gardens across the property too. What is your opinion about Lady Gaga's $3 million bankruptcy scandal? This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Bye!